sure to subscribe to our channel. We publish new videos every day. Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhaktavinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So uh, I came to Tamal Krishna Goswami about, about 1982 1982 what had happened I'd been in India and then I'd gone to I was in USA for a little while. I came back to England. And there were a lot of troubles in ISKCON. For those of you who were around in ISKCON in those early years, there were very troubled times. And somehow I, oh, Tamal Krishna Goswami had written the first section of Servant of the Servant and he published it and I had read it and I thought it was so wonderful I wrote to him and I and he wrote back to me and he said you know why don't you come and help me in Hong Kong because he said you're British and they said Hong Kong is a British colony and for Americans it wasn't too easy to go into Hong Kong at that time so he encouraged me because I was Brit a British citizen that it would be helpful, I could help him there in Hong Kong. And the idea was one, at some point we were going to China. Of course we had not developed, we would not gone into China really at that time, 1982. But anyway, uh, I came to Hong Kong for some time and then Gurudev got me to go to Philippines, put me in the Philippines for about four years. It was a very good experience for me. Later on I reflected on that and I told him that I was glad that I spent time in the Philippines because it taught me, it prepared me for some simple living and working with Eastern people. You know, Asian people have a different culture and mentality from Westerners. So it was it was a nice experience to be in the Philippines for four years and when he did start to go into China then he invited me to come also and we began like that. We were in three cities and there were we were two, two people in each city. Eka Chakra Prabhu with Jai Baladev was in Beijing Sankirtan Prabhu and one other Swiss devotee was in Shanghai and I was in Guangzhou with one other devotee. So the China preaching in the beginning in those days is very different from what you see now. You know nowadays of course we have a lot of ladies, majority of ladies, but in those days when we began the preaching in China we had a lot of very nice young men just like Sridhar, you know, 20, more than 25 years ago. He was a young man then. You know, now he's middle-aged, you know. But when we first met him, he was a young man. And most of the devotees, or practically all the devotees at that time in China, they were all young, they were all students mostly. And the, he was talking about the particular city where he's from. We had a place there and uh, we had the students come and stay with us. And they'd come and eat lunch every day. It was it was really a nice program, simple program. Sometimes when Tamal Krishna Goswami would come in some cities, we would we would rent a, a, a nice big hotel room, and then we'd we'd smuggle into the hotel a gas burn a gas burner, you know, with a stove with gas cylinders. <laughs> Yeah, we were so bold, you know. We, 
the things we were doing you could never imagine doing, you know, renting a hotel room and bringing in the stove and the gas cylinders and cooking a big feast and having all the all the young de young Chinese devotees come there and spend the whole day there singing and dancing. And one of the places when we were moving when we when the when we sent the Chinese devotee to go and pay the bill, the person at the counter said someone someone said to the person at the counter, they were cooking in that room and they were singing and dancing. And he said and the, and the you know the, the, the cashier looked astonished and the Chinese devotee just stood and looked at them. No we were not. Just denied it, you know. <laughs> no proof, you know. So we we would do these kind of things that it was really uh, pioneering days. It was very exciting, and it it was very inspiring also. And Tamal Krishna Maharaj definitely was inspired by the whole thing. He really liked it very much. Of course, uh, you know his health didn't do so good. He had problems with his health, and he also was he he got. Uh, influenced by Ridayananda Maharaj that he should pursue also academic preaching which was definitely very much in his line. He was very scholarly and he liked very much to talk to educated people. So he really liked that idea of going into the educational preaching, preaching to the scholars and the, the, the philosophers. But he never forgot the China mission and as his health started to improve a bit, he also came back and he was always in touch with the China mission. It was always in his heart and he was always concerned to see it develop. So it was very nice. His loyalty to Srila Prabhupada was amazing. But, uh, he was, you know, he could, he could always think of Prabhupada, always remember, what would Prabhupada, he would say to me, what would Prabhupada do in this situation? Som sometimes he'd say like that, he would reflect. You know, he was always a Prabhupada man. And even though sometimes he was looking for, you know, some inspiration, some higher guidance and looking a little bit outside of ISKCON, but he could never go away from his con because he knew Prabhupada was his life and soul and he didn't want to ever give up Prabhupada. So I really miss him. And we can only pray that he will always be with us and help us to, con to go on to develop this Krishna consciousness movement. He wanted to see it nice. He wanted to see everything done very well. He, he, he liked to see things, you know, that they should be well presented. Just like, I've, you know, I've heard about the Dallas Temple. It's such a wonderful temple. They've got beautiful painting, Krishna Leela there. And the temple, is, everything is so nice. So, just the way he liked it. And also, Hong Kong was also like that, you know, he liked very much to, when he opened the Hong Kong temple, Girid Hari Swami Maharaj was there, of course he was the manager, he was the temple president at the time, and he went on to become the co-GBC, so it was, it was very pleasing to Tamal Krishna Maharaj, he liked very much the way Girid Hari Swami man managed everything. It was always very satisfying to him. Uh, he liked to see people do things nicely. So, thank you very much. Hare, Hare Krishna. Krishna. Tamal Krishna Goswami Maharaj Ki. Jai.
Do you like our ad-free videos? Be sure to subscribe to our channel. We publish new videos every day, and don't forget to like and share our channel.